Hello guys, welcome to Afoam TV. My name is Afoam Hine. It's a brand new morning here in Kumasi. As you can see, the sun is way up and it's so bright I can't even look at it. Today, we are in Duyase, Kumasi. You will remember that I brought you a video, our last trip to Kumasi, where I was telling you that we were coming to set up a catfish farm in a school. And this is the time. Today, we have come to start the work. We came yesterday in the night. We did a lot of the fabrication and the installation yesterday because we knew that today will be a school day and we did not want to come and make a lot of noise that is going to disturb the students um, as they learn so we made sure that we did everything that we could do that was going to make noise in the night so yesterday we left here around 10 30 p.m in the night today you can see that we finished setting up all our tarpaulin ponds. We are setting up a 3,000 capacity fish farm. That is going to be uh, the phase one. In the phase two, we are going to expand this uh, project to, uh, I mean, more larger numbers. You know, every project, as I said, is unique. And if you look at how we have set up this tarpaulin pond, you see that now we erected a small concrete platform for the tarpaulin ponds. The reason why I'm now insisting on uh, concrete platforms is that sometimes when you use sand only to level the ground, when it rains and the sand sinks, then it imbalances the tarpaulin pond or it creates some imbalance in the tarpaulin pond. So the pressure from the water in the pond gradually either deforms or bends the metal pipes or breaks it all together we've had experiences like that so now i'm insisting on concrete platform so that it does not sink um anyway or anyhow or it's good we are going to ensure that we do a lot of good packing at the stance of the um, metal pipe so that we don't get such incidents of the pond sinking and bending or breaking all together. The good thing is that these tarpaulin uh, materials are so strong that any time that we had an incident of even the metal pipes breaking, the tarpaulin pumps are still um, correct. They still hold their strength and we're able to use them after we've um, refabricated the metal pipe. So this is Duyase and i wanted to bring you the update of what we are doing here we are done with the installation we are just left with the plumbing side and the plumber will in a minute start work you see that we've already started marking where we are going to um, put our tank connectors and then we have a drawing of how this whole thing is going to be so everything is is, is i'm happy with the progress here after that we are going to construct a fence a wire net fence around this whole pond you can see this is a school we have we already have some of the kids in school and it is so heartwarming to see their innocent curious faces trying to understand what we are doing here and i mean they all came around they are happy about what they are seeing but now they are in class and we can't show them because we don't have authority so um i'm happy that this project has come on um this far uh, we'll be um doing the plumbing works constructing the wire net fence and we'll be introducing the fingerlings into the ponds today one good thing about tarpaulin ponds is that look immediately you install it you don't need to treat it for days as it happens in concrete ponds you just need to wash it and you can wash it with salt if you want to you suspect that there are there where the tarpaulin material has been there might have been some bacteria or some infection or you, you you don't want to take any chance you clean it with salt or you can as well just wash it with parazone the chemical we call parazone just wash it with parazone clean it rinse it put water in it and then you are ready to go so today we'll be installing the finger lens we are waiting for the plumber to come and fix the plumbing part after that we are going to 
put in water and then later in the day maybe sundown we are going to introduce our fingerlings into the pond so stay tuned we are going to bring you every update and once we are in kumasi you know when we come to kumasi there are multiple projects that we are doing and as we move on i'm going to share all the updates on those projects that we um are doing for you to also um learn from so thank you very much for staying to our channel and then i'll be bringing you updates later uh, as we move on see you again another time Bye-bye.